Wednesday the 29th of May in Baku, Azerbaijan of all places. I'm sure the Arsenal and Chelsea fans are delighted with that. We've got the Europa League final. Arsenal v Chelsea. What do you think, Joe? What do I think? Um, I think it's going to be a tight game. Um, but at the same time, I don't think either team have got much to, much to lose. I think they're going to probably, you know, it might be quite a high scoring game um, with players such as um, Aubameyang, uh, who is worth £1.53 per share on Football Index um, being involved. I mean, he's a player obviously that this year is, is, has really proved his um, goal scoring prowess. Um, I've got down, he's got eight goals in nine appearances in the Europa League, which sounds like a brilliant uh, return. Um, so he's used to scoring in Europe. Um, obviously, he was the joint Golden Boot yep. winner as well this season. Um, he's the perfect player for our in-play dividends, um, which are dividends based on goals and assists uh, for uh, forwards anyway, and for midfielders as well. Um, so yeah, I, th I think Aubameyang is, is definitely a player to be, to, to be watching in, 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 in the Europa League final. Um, I've also got written down Granit Xhaka, um, maybe a player that you don't think of so much as scoring goals or getting assists, unless it's a wonder goal, obviously, but he seems to be increasingly yeah. less doing that sort of thing. Um, however, over the last two seasons, uh, Premier League seasons, uh, Granit Xhaka has registered the most passes out of any player in the league over the last two seasons. Um, so he's great for our match day dividends, which takes into account passes completed, um, you know, key passes, uh, possession of the ball and things like that. Um, so Xhaka, who's worth 69 pence on the index, mm. uh, perfect for as I say, uh, match day dividends. Equally on the Chelsea side of things, uh, Jorginho uh, has got uh, who's, who's non-stop passes. Absolutely, passing. yeah. So I think I think he's got the most passes for this mm. season alone. Um, the season just gone. Um, so always always playing the ball around. Um, every pass seems to be made as well. Um, relatively underrated player for uh, in, in my eyes anyway. Um, One pounds fifteen pence per share on the index. Um, so a, a pretty good solid buy. If you were um, looking to, to, to buy someone like Jorginho, does it matter so much the type of pass or is it just how many he would do in a, in a match? Passes, so it's based on Opta rankings, um, so passes completed are what you should look for. Um, realistically, if, if Jorginho turns to his side and plays the ball across, you know, whether it's to Kante or something like that, um, or, or, or plays the ball through and plays it, plays it to one of the forwards, um, if he makes that pass, then or then typically it's, it's going to count towards his score. Um, equally, he's not shy of a tackle, um, has the odd shot, makes the odd you know, goal scoring pass. Mm. Um, so, yeah, midfielders like Jorginho who, 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 who create that play. Um, they're perfect for match day dividends. Shaka is the same by the same token. So some interesting players there. Absolutely. I'll come back to you for a correct score sure. prediction okay. in a bit. From free super tips point of view, we were looking at the head-to-head -head between these two sides. The last 10 meetings, actually, Chelsea have only won two of them, and they were both at Stamford Bridge. Sure. So Arsenal do seem to have a better you know, head-to-head -head record. I go to Chelsea quite a bit because my son supports them. I sure. take, him, take him to Chelsea. And they're looking a bit more and more like a one-man side every time I sure. see them. I mean, you stop Hazard, you Agreed. stop Chelsea. Arsenal look to have that more firepower up front. I love that Aubameyang and Lacazette partnership. Sure, That's sensational. Whereas Chelsea look like they just rely too much on Hazard. If you stop him, I think Arsenal win the game. We like 2-1 Arsenal. And we're also going to go for over two and a half goals. Because sure. we do think this could be a, a, an entertaining affair. Absolutely. Uh, so so what, what's your correct score? Similar thoughts. Um, I do think that Hazard could be another man to watch. Um, obviously, he's got one eye in Madrid. He'll be wanting to impress just in case this move needs any more fuel to the fire. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Hazard's going to get at least a goal. Um, I've written down 3 2 Arsenal, so I'm hoping for a high scoring game. Thriller, then, I know, yeah, I, I, I do think it's going to be a great game. Um, and I'm hopeful that players, as you said, like Aubameyang, Lacazette, and Hazard can be you know, really generating some of these goals. Um, and yeah, 3 2 is going to be my outlandish prediction. So we both think entertaining game, win for Arsenal. Let's just hope. There's some Arsenal and Chelsea fans there to watch it.